Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what does not, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details are in my description box for my channel. And you can email me, aceofcups0 at yahoo.com. So we have, oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Let's see. <clears throat> Answering the phone, banjo, treading water, Halloween. So someone could be receiving a phone call. They're treading water. Um, someone's trying to keep their head above water. <clears throat> so this uh, phone call could be um, something, it's like sink or swim energy. Um, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. It's like the phone call or this communication could be an indication of somebody um, getting some sort of news, um, you know, and they're trying to keep their head above water. Lucky rabbits, foot, cowboy, breakfast, kangaroo. Someone's lucky though. So this could be some sort of good communication for someone who is trying to keep their head above water. Luck is on someone's side here. Someone could be going rogue with the cowboy here. Um, someone could be feeling protective over another person. So there's some sort of lucky news. Someone feeling protective, wanting to help out someone. So this could be a, a communication or indication that somebody wants to help another person. When pigs fly, Spider-Man, soccer, marshmallows. So <clears throat> someone may have thought that um, someone else may not receive help. Or someone may want to communicate with someone, but they may feel like when pigs fly, like something may seem impossible. There could be some sort of vigilante justice going on. Uh, a soccer mom could be significant. Um, roasting marshmallows, campfires, that could be significant. Um, but there's something that seems impossible. But there's, there's luck on someone's side here because something that seems impossible isn't going to be impossible. Because somebody wants to, to get some sort of justice for somebody who has done wrong. So that could be the person who is feeling protective over another person. Tic-tac-toe, fireflies, watermelon, skipping rocks. So something significant could happen by the summertime. Someone could be trying to find ways to entertain themselves. Someone could like camping, being outside, you know, catching fireflies, <clears throat> eating watermelon, having cookouts, that kind of thing. So this would be someone, you know, maybe, a, a, like I said, a soccer mom could be significant because soccer was on there and that's the first thing that came to m into my mind. So someone could be a parent, you know, a very loving, caring parent, spending time with their kids, just trying to keep their head above water. So this could be a single parent situation um, that just, you know, enjoys spending time with the family, taking care of the kids, that kind of thing. Hedge clippers, barbecue, fiddler, crap, sign language, yeah. So this is like an indication of someone being outside, having fun, you know, spending time with the kids. <clears throat> it could be a parent who's feeling protective over their child or children. So you could be a child and this could be a parent or you could be a parent and you could feel this way about your children. Trampoline, woof, woof, playing hide and seek and sponge. Same thing, like being outside, trampoline, um, a dog or an animal could be significant. You know, playing games with your kids. Batman, campfire, ghost, hot chocolate. There's a theme here. It's like outside. <clears throat> Spending time with your kids, vigilante justice, um, someone swooping in, fighting crime. Uh, maybe you view yourself as a vigilante or someone, you know, views you as a vigilante and could be trying to sabotage you and your family and you're just minding your business, taking care of your kids, you know, spending time outside. You could be very grounded. Rhinoceros, movie night, fireplace, and scarecrow. So someone could want to come rushing in, you know, like the bull in the china shop energy. Someone could want to rush in. Um, you know, this person could be feeling protective over you. Okay. So this could be, um, someone who is interested in you romantically with the movie night fireplace. Someone may want to lay you down by the fire, playing tag, unicorn, counting sheep and flagpole. So, you know, while you're busy taking care of your responsibilities, someone sees you as a unicorn, like very mystical. Um, and someone thinks about you as they go to sleep. Um, but they feel like you would be an accomplishment with the flagpole there. It's like someone wants to plant their flag on you, you know, possibly put a ring on it. Someone is feeling very, they, they're they seeing a future or they're, they're fantasizing, thinking about you, dream, you know, before they fall asleep or dreaming about you and what could be. And this person wants to 
possibly plant their pole in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's someone who views you as a mystical creature. You're like an anomaly to this person. Um, like, you're just so mysterious with how you handle things because there's such a lot going on. So, you know, while you're trying to keep your head above the water, you're still enjoying life. You're still taking care of your responsibilities. Um, this person could maybe see you outside playing with your kids, you know, just enjoying life. And someone is shocked by this. We don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. So there could have been an accident or somebody was trying to make something look like an accident. However you think it should be, that's exactly how it should be. So someone was trying to make something look like an accident. But something was done intentionally. <clears throat> this could be done to like a mother figure, a parental figure. Um, and you could be a masculine too. You could be a soccer dad, whatever the case. Uh, but I feel like it was more of like a feminine energy that, you know, someone would have thought would have been an easy target to try to take something from this person. Um, and someone worked really hard, but their hard work did not pay off minute work. Maybe something happened around the home. There could have been an accident or something was made to look like an accident, but no one came to fix it. No one wanted to work on it. No one wanted to work with you. <clears throat> they could have been trying to get rid of you, scare you off, intimidate you in some sort of way. And you're just focused on you and your kids. And if you don't have any kids, then that part doesn't apply to you. Maybe this message isn't for you. Not every message is for every person. But somebody does want you. I want you. Somebody does want you. And they want to have a new start, a new beginning with you. Um, we're ready. What about you? School's at war. Someone is getting educated. Someone could be getting some sort of recognition. Graduating could be significant. Maybe you had a child that graduated or recently graduated or is going to graduate. Um, <clears throat> maybe you were waiting for your kids to graduate or a child to graduate before you started dating or something. Um, someone could want to marry you. I'm proud my husband wants me to do my part. This could be somebody that you were married to. Maybe you were putting off getting married until after kids graduated or something like that. That could be significant. They're fighting harder than ever before. So someone was fighting to keep their head above water. They were struggling and people were doing things intentionally and trying to make something look like an accident. And it could have led to some sort of harm, but somebody could want to partner up with you and marry you. Um, and this could also be someone that you have a child with that recently graduated. Um, maybe you were married to this person or maybe this person wants to marry you in the future, but somebody was, something was not secure. Make victory secure. Someone thought that they had a victory secured in the bag and the hole because they went through such great lengths to make something look like an accident. And I feel like this is two different situations or two different people. You know, whatever situation, that would be like a shady ass landlord, rental property, something like that. Uh, maybe someone you lived with was trying to make someone to look like an accident. I feel like this would be a different person who is wanting to feel like they feel at home with you. They feel protective with you. Maybe they're longing for like that motherly figure. I'm not saying they necessarily want you to like mommy them, but um, they see a home with you and they see a future with you. Maybe because you're so motherly more and more and more production. Someone wanted you to bust your ass and be drained constantly. It's like someone just wanted you to keep working harder and harder and harder. And so I feel like the sabotage is a huge part of this was someone trying to make something look like it wasn't. Someone was trying to make you look like you were lazy, this, that, and the other. But there were so many things going on around your situation, your environment, that caused you to keep having to work harder and harder and harder. <clears throat> you had to defend yourself to stay free, defend American freedom. It's everybody's job. It's like, okay, you were fighting harder and harder and harder just to stay free or get free from these people. It could be a group that was involved in this. battle stations keep them fighting there's a, a big climax coming someone's gearing up for war someone's still trying to keep you fighting the horn has been sounded like something could be coming to an end or this could be just the beginning of the end um for your problems if this is you who has been struggling um you know somebody does want to partner up with you and someone could be gearing up and coming to battle to fight for you or with you this is not something you should labor over or worry about enjoy it 
If painting does nothing else, it should make you happy. Someone didn't want you to be happy. They wanted you to be working your ass off. That was in the reverse. Someone wanted you to be so stressed out that you couldn't enjoy life. You have unlimited power here. You can do that. You have unlimited power here. You can do that. You can do anything on this canvas, anything. So you have a new start, a new beginning. You, like, you literally have a clean slate. You can do anything you want to do. And that bothers someone, maybe because you have freedom. Maybe someone or a group of people is trying to stop you from being able to achieve some sort of freedom or success. Because maybe they don't like their job or the fact that they have to do a certain kind of thing or actually work. Maybe they feel like you don't have enough responsibilities and they feel like it's their job to keep placing burdens on you as if that's a reality. Be so very light. Be gentle. Be a gentle whisper. So your lightness, your, your lightheartedness bothers these people. They were trying to start conflict with you and they cannot stand it. They were trying to provoke you in some sort of way because they didn't want you to be happy. They can't stand that you remain calm and collected in the face of adversity, you have to allow the paint to break to make it beautiful. You've already been broken and you're beautiful. You've already healed. That's in the upright. So you've allowed yourself to heal from whatever situations from the past that you've had to deal with. So you could be the kind of person that thrives in chaos. Okay. Maybe because you were raised in chaos or trauma. And so you kind of always had to live in that survival mode. So you may know how to take care of yourself even though you may be exhausted and tired after doing this your entire life, but you've already been broken and you're still beautiful. Now then, let's wash the old brush. That's the fun part about the whole technique. Okay, shake, shake off the excess and just beat the devil out of it. So someone was being very devilish. They were trying to recreate or do something like that you've already healed from, like bring up old shit. Let's wash the old brush. Someone wanted you to be stuck in your old ways, your old patterns, or the old you, like the unhealed version of you. And these people went through hell and high water to make sure that you didn't heal from something, but it was too late. You already did. No pressure. Just relax and watch it happen. So you're at ease. You're at calm. You're at peace. Even if you don't understand things, I don't try to understand everything in nature. I just look at it and enjoy it. So even though you don't understand everything, and nobody does, I don't care what anyone says, you may not understand how something is going to work out. You're just going with the flow, literally. Like you're just, people under these circumstances would normally feel the pressure, feel the heat. Um, I heard that song, the heat is on and then under pressure, like normal people, <laughs> Keep in mind, you're not normal, though. Normal people would crack, break, like have a nervous breakdown going through whatever situation this is or whatever it is that you went through. But you kind of enjoy not knowing everything, even if you can read cards, even if you have psychic gifts, whatever. The divine doesn't tell us everything for a reason. We're not meant to know every single thing. And anyone who claims to know everything, they're full of shit. But there's a reason. And you're fine with that. Like you've made peace with things. Like you're just, you're not reacting to the pressure how normal people would and that is really bothersome to these people because they're really trying to pile it on you and they can't stand the fact that you're not reacting like you just go outside and enjoy nature and you just accept life you know as it comes to you did you ever think you could take a great big brush and make all these beautiful little trees you really can <clears throat> So there's, um, what I get from this, and it was in the reverse, is there's a big person and some little people. So there's a group of people here that were under some sort of instructions to do something, okay? Um, I'm, I'm hearing, like, I'm seeing people, like, being given orders. So if this is, like, um, you know, it's come out with, like, maintenance people and stuff like that. Like, if this is a real estate or a property um, this could be like the owner and these could be like their little minions, like, you know, the workers there or something like someone could run a business or own a business and somebody's calling the shots. So there's like someone calling the shots. That's like the big boss. And then there's these other people who are like lesser, but they do what they're told. 
and they were under instructions to do very specific things to you to cause burdens for you and annoy you and harass you and they they kind of enjoy it like they sit back and they get a thrill from this shit and someone could be tired of sitting back and watching you fight all these battles someone wants to help you or someone acts as if they're helping you but it could be a ploy to misdirect you this could also be a fair weather friend kind of situation someone who helps you or wants to help you when it's beneficial for them <clears throat> but someone got left out in the wilderness so someone could be connected to this group of people or to you that is like a fair weather friend someone who you know when it benefits them they want to be connected to you but they could have been part of the reason why you were left out in the cold or out in the wilderness or this person wants you to be left out in the wilderness and they were just pretending to be helpful to you because they had something to gain from this. Yeah, someone was definitely being coached. I knew it. I knew. I knew. This is in the reverse. Someone was being coached. <clears throat> so this person, this fair weather friend, could have been coaching these group of people on how to get you put out in the wilderness, keep you stuck and stagnant because this person has some sort of indebted or is holding a grudge against you. You could have rejected being in a relationship with them. Somebody was just trying to take you for a ride to cause an ending for you. Someone like really got some in, in pleasure and enjoyment out of this by taking you for a ride, putting on a show. They were doing something for entertainment watching you not know which door to open and as soon as you thought a door would open watching those doors close for you and seeing how you were going to react this is mind manipulation at its finest these people and this person is sick very sick and sick and sick and sick sick in the head sick in the head it's like they got some sort of enjoyment entertainment out of watching you think that something was going to go in your favor and then like pulling the rug out from under you it's like if you got something straightened up or cleared up, like, you know, you got one thing in your life taken care of, then something else would go wrong all of a sudden. And these people were a part of it. And they were trying to make it look like it, it happened naturally. Someone is watching and spying. That's sideways. That's now near future energy. So there's someone here who is watching and spying. It's like peeking around the corner. So someone could be in close proximity watching you from around the corner. This could be neighbors, um, someone that could view your home or see you. They're watching you closely, but they don't think you notice. <laughs> someone thinks you're attractive. You're like a humanitarian, but someone could also be watching to see if you're going to off yourself. Every time I see this card, because I know what happens in the movie um, with her wrists, and hurting herself someone is watching and waiting to see if you're going to hurt yourself or harm yourself and someone has really dark intentions so it's like someone is enjoying this like pushing someone to the point where they would unalive themselves because they don't want to come at someone directly okay because then something can be traced back to them but this person is very like has very dark fantasies and tendencies <clears throat> they get off on that mind manipulation and the control aspect of it and their greatest accomplishments, the greatest, I'm getting like a sense of pride and arrogance. If they can force somebody to the point where they can snap mentally and unalive themselves and they know that they had a hand in it or that they caused it, especially someone who's strong. This is someone who would be like hunted, um, considered prey. This is a, a complete psychopath. Okay. And no, I'm not a doctor and I have I cannot diagnose anyone, but this person is a complete psychopath and they get a thrill out of this and they feel no greater sense of pride than knowing that they broke someone down to the point where they would harm themselves or unalive themselves, especially if someone said, oh, I would never do that. I would never do this. I would never do that. This person wanted to ultimately destroy someone and they were working with this other group of people and coaching them on how to do all this. But then you have someone that came out in the very beginning there that is feeling very protective over you. Like maybe you have a job to do. Maybe you were meant to expose these people in this group. And, you know, maybe these people need to face some jail time or prison time. Um, you are not their first victim. You're just the first one that fought back. 
you were not as easy of a target as they thought you were going to be. And that bothers these people also because the narrative that they painted for you, that you were crazy, that you were a drug addict, that you were unstable, whatever the situation was, they needed you to look unstable. And that's why they were trying to provoke you and get you to react in some sort of way. And you remained calm. <clears throat> This person was dark and they're a compulsive liar. Everything out of this person's mouth is a lie. So this person, from the moment they met you, if they were in a relationship with you, from the moment you met them, everything out of this person's mouth was an absolute lie. And it was meant to manipulate you, to break you down. This person watched you before they ever approached you and wanted to be in a relationship with you. And even if you're not still with this person, they're still pulling the strings and connected to this group and telling them what to do. They wanted you alone and isolated for a reason. They don't care that you have kids. Um, it's really sick, but I just heard bonus points. If they can get all of, get rid of all of you, like this is sick. Like this is really sick. This is a sick fucking game. <clears throat> and it's not a game. This is someone's life they're messing with. Multiple lives. Especially if you have children. There's a group of people here that are getting left out on the street. Someone could be homeless. Or you're going to be. And someone's watching. <clears throat> Someone has been watching. Maybe you struggle with homelessness. And that could be how you're trying to keep your head above the water. But someone is watching. And someone had a decision to make. Okay? And they chose to place barriers in your path. And, you know, like, and this could also be someone reflecting on a choice that they made that resulted in you being homeless. There could be some reflection going on about a decision. When someone was at a crossroads and whatever decision they made, there could be some reflection going on about that decision that was made. Because whatever coaching they did, whatever plans they had, it didn't work. There's a group of people here that could be being watched. A band that partook in something here. So someone could be under surveillance, being watched. And there's a group here. It could also be a group of people who are watching you to figure out the best way to get you kicked out on the streets or make you homeless or cause you to be homeless. Because that's what this sadistic person wanted for you. <clears throat> And maybe you struggled with that so many times that this person thought if you were faced with this again, you know, bringing up that old shit, trying to recreate something from the past, maybe they thought if they could do this to you again, that it would push you over the edge and it would be the final, final roll call for you. But it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to because you healed. <clears throat> You're grounded. You're too grounded for that shit. Your feet, your, your feet are planted firmly on the ground here. You're standing ten toes down. You are sticking up for yourself, and you're not budging. And they didn't expect that. Like I said, you're not the first victim, but you're the first person that stood up to these motherfuckers and told them what was up. And you didn't even have to use your words, your actions. There's a masculine here that sees how grounded you are, or that is grounded, and that wants to help you out. transformation there could be a masculine here that's trying to get grounded and they're going through an ascension um this could be a spiritual awakening for this person <clears throat> you could be more spiritual than this person and they were kind of fighting it not wanting to realize it they could have grown up like religious or something like that Whatever barriers that was decided to be put in your path, they hit a brick wall. When it came to putting barriers in your path, the group that made the decision to put these barriers in your path, they hit a brick wall. And they could be also trying to stop someone from ascending and getting grounded and realizing the truth. Um, this person may or may not be part of the group. There's a lack of communication. <clears throat> So someone can't use communication or somebody was using some form of communication to try to create barriers for you, stalk you, harass you. 
But somebody wants to partner up with you and make some music with you um, with a feminine here. But there's something that someone is not seeing clearly, and it could be this group about their connection. <clears throat> there is a masculine here that is connected to a group or possibly connected to this group. Or there's something that there's a mask uh, there's a masculine that's not seeing something clearly. Maybe they want to partner up with you and make music with you, you know, have a future with you, but they have to go through this ascension first and they could be fighting it. I'm, I'm getting a strong energy of resistance. But there's a group of people here that we're not seeing something clearly about harassing you or stalking you using um, communication. It could have been social media, um, could have been email, text, phone calls, um, some sort of technology. <clears throat> Somebody that you had a soul connection with was trying to keep you stuck on that same cycle. Um, the record's broken, broken record. Something is broken. They were trying to keep you stuck on that loop. They were trying to keep you stuck on a loop of repeating the past. Someone from your past was trying to keep you stuck on a, a karmic loop cycle. There's someone that's talking, whispering, reporting back to someone here. And that could be someone that's whispering in this masculine's ear. And that's why they're not able to see something clearly. And they're fighting going through this ascension. It could be a friend, family member, relative, whatever the case. But there's someone in this masculine's ear that's feeding them a lot of bullshit. And filling their head with stuff. And this masculine is fighting going through an ascension. Because um, whoever is in their ear doesn't want them to go through this ascension. They don't want them to go through a change. Because then... They might change what they believe in. They might grow. They might evolve. They might level up. And somebody does not want this for this masculine. anything that's going to come out of here. <laughs> nope. There we go. <clears throat> so someone's going to get some abundance. Nine of Pentacles. Someone has abundance coming to them. There's a lion-ass queen of swords that sent a message. Something was a lie. <clears throat> this ice queen... There's a feminine energy that was uneducated. They told lies. It could be this person who's reporting back to this masculine. It could be a feminine who is in this masculine's ear. Trying to stop them from coming towards you. If that's the person that wants to be with you. Or this feminine could be connected to that group of people who are watching you and harassing you. Trying to cause you some very damaging harm. Your hard work is paying off and someone can't stop thinking about you. Someone can't stop thinking about how hard you work. They admire you. Um, they see your abundance. Um, whatever you're growing. You grew something. You've planted the seeds. <clears throat> the nine of pentacles. You have the fruits of your labors. Um, you know, it's harvest time. And someone sees how hard you've worked and they admire you and they can't stop thinking about you. But then there's a feminine energy here that is all up in this person's ear that is trying to stop them from coming towards you. The challenge is, is you could be spending a lot of time alone and you have a new slate, a clean beginning for you. So even though someone can't stop thinking about you and they may want to be with you, you may be fine on your own or you may choose to take a journey on your own and stay independent or single. Especially after you dealt with the legit psychopath that did all this shit to you. 
If someone sees you as a treasure, the Nine of Cups, like they see you as a treasure. Because you're a high priestess, high priest, high priestess. You could be receiving a treasure, something that's important to you. This person may be thinking about how to give you a treasure, give you some, give you some sort of gift that's going to bring you happiness. But someone could be trying to convince them not to do this. Yeah, someone was very dark. Someone was very evil. The star in the reverse. Someone was very evil and dark. <clears throat> but someone admires you. So you had to heal from a very evil, dark person and what they had intended for you. And someone admires the fact that you were able to heal from this. This evil person wanted you to be fighting a lot of battles and conflict. You had to fight a lot of shit on your own. And that was the goal. That's That was the purpose. This was a thrill. This is entertainment. This is like them grabbing their popcorn, sitting back and watching the shit fly um, from the chaos that they caused. <clears throat> and they enjoyed it. Like every minute of it. Yeah, they even had, a, they put you in a third party situation too and caused a lot of conflict. So they, they worked with someone else, other people, you know, third party doesn't have to be romantic, sexual relationship. It can just be that they were working with somebody else. But here I also have that someone was juggling and causing heavy burdens for you. So it also could be that if they were cheating on you with a third party, um, they enlisted the help of that person to help cause heavy burdens for you. And, of course, if this is a jealous-ass female who doesn't have the gifts that you do and they wish they could be you, um, they were very much on board with this because they thought it was just as much, they thought it was fun. Because if this person was torturing you and watching you suffer, then they wouldn't want to be with you. And that was a relief to this other person, to this other feminine <clears throat> As long as this masculine was focused on hurting you or trying to get you to hurt yourself, she didn't have to worry about him leaving her for you. But there was an unsuccessful relationship with this Queen of Swords. It was not the offer that they were expecting to get. So, <laughs> you know, a psychopath is unemotional. They, they don't feel, they don't have lovey feelings, okay? This person had a use temporarily. And then this masculine didn't need them anymore. So it didn't turn out the way that this Queen of Swords thought it was going to. Financial balance is being restored. There's going to be a happy Ten of Cups situation and a new cycle here. For someone, because they're moving on to calmer waters, you're going to receive some sort of message or communication from someone who wants to be your lover. <clears throat> so there's, there's an offer of a commitment here. Possibly it could be considered a risky commitment. Only time will tell. Maybe not everyone's going to agree with this situation or relationship. Um, and, you know, the, the results could have long-lasting effects. It could affect you for a long time, but it could be worth the risk. And this person wants to be compassionate towards you. Uh, Page of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Swords was a liar, you know. And then there's a Queen of Wands here, too. So there were two feminines here that were lying they were lying to each other. There's someone here who does want to be compassionate to you. They want to lay something to rest. Something's going to be laid to rest. You have a positive outcome. So then we have this King of Cups who's in the reverse with this Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> so the Queen of Wands could have been a hoe, um, you know, someone who was noncommittal, flashing her stuff around. And she was partnered up with the Queen of Swords. Maybe they had some three-way action. I don't know how they know each other. But the two feminine energies know each other. They could be related. Um, it, or it could be a family part of that group. You know, like, hey, I got my family. You know, they know some people. Like, I know some people who know some people kind of thing. This King of Cups is emotionally unbalanced, unstable. They're unhinged. They make impulsive decisions. But yet, they're also very cold and calculated. 
even though this person is unemotional when it comes to love and they are they are they would be considered a true psychopath this person doesn't like to not get their way but you have a positive outcome with someone wanting to come towards you with an offer so it looks like you may have a choice to make a decision to make regarding a commitment, you know, with the lover's card that came out. But there's a king of cups who is not traveling, who is not being able to move or travel towards you. So they could be watching from a distance and they could be having this queen of wands, and this queen of swords watch you. Someone who is held in high honor is about to get an offer. Before I do that, I want to check these. <clears throat> so someone's having a new beginning. Someone is just starting out on their journey here. Someone was nervous about someone not being their wish fulfillment, their love, their dream come true when it came to happiness. Someone is scared that this person is going to choose to have a new start, a new beginning with you. So there's someone here who is nervous about this. And it could be this masculine that's starting out their journey. You've already ascended your in your high priestess status, right? But it could be a masculine here who wants to start on their new path, their new journey, or journey towards you. And this makes someone nervous because they know if they come towards you, it's over for them. Even though it's kind of already been over, they refuse to accept it. Like I said, whatever this masculine, if there's a shady-ass masculine that... Did, okay, so you could be at a crossroads, maybe both of these pieces... I don't want to say both of them are pieces of shit because there is someone who actually does like you. Um, and, and can't stop thinking about you and sees a future with you. But there is a piece of shit here who may be showing back up because someone was nervous and scared about this other person coming back towards you. The person that wanted to see you suffer. <clears throat> but there's also somebody who's scared and nervous about the, the good masculine going through like a transformation and ascension. Someone's really nervous about this love connection. So someone was pissed off because they were on the wrong path or they couldn't get someone off of their path. So there's someone here, <clears throat> if this is someone who is in that masculine's ear, the good one, you know, the one who wants to come towards you and, you know, possibly have, uh, you know, this 10 of cups situation with you, someone was pissed that they could not deter this person and get them off the path to come towards you in path towards the path of ascension because something is going to change for them whether it's a masculine or a feminine they did not want this to happen they did everything they could to try to deter this person from coming towards you and it didn't work they still want this new beginning with you and this could be um, a divine connection it can also be secrets being exposed they could want to come towards you you could be receiving communication that this is what they want that they see you um, as their happiness so they have a secret they've been keeping from you <clears throat> but they're not going to keep it for much longer because they're going to tell you about it. They're going to tell you how they feel. They could have possibly had to get rid of a third party first or someone who would have been considered a third party. The Ace of Pentacles, new start, new beginning, new relationship, job, home, whatever the case, a little bit of everything. Yeah, I, I knew it. There was like a third party thing going on. Someone was trying to be a third party and this person knew that they couldn't come towards you if they were dealing with someone else. So someone was pissed about being left out in the cold, being ghosted. Someone was a flying monkey. And someone's going to be sad about this new beginning that someone has. That their wishes are not being fulfilled. So someone's sad about not getting their wishes fulfilled. So while someone's busy having their new start, new beginning, moving on with life, going towards what they view as their wish fulfillment, 
Um, someone got left out in the cold, and they're, they're not happy about it. That's because someone's a gold digger. And they're stalking someone. So someone who is a gold digger is stalking somebody. Someone said they can't, I can't see you. So someone got ghosted. And someone can't deal with the shame and embarrassment. And so they're stalking someone. Someone wanted to be left alone and someone snapped. So someone said, leave me alone. I don't want to be with you. And someone snapped. Whoever the psychopath is that's working with this group of people here. Man, it's only a matter of days. Someone hired someone to spy on you. Someone could have been passing soon. You could have told someone to leave you alone because you knew that they wanted you to pass soon. So they could have been sitting back waiting for you to pass and it didn't happen. They could have been working on this for the last six to nine months. But guess what? Their spell work backfired. Someone's spell work is backfiring. Because all the shits they put you through. This feminine could know what this masculine was doing. And um, they lied about being in a relationship with you. So... You know, if they lied about messing with you and messing with this other person, it didn't work out for them. So you have, you know, more than one person in your energy. It could also be the same motherfucker coming back wanting to have a new start, new beginning after everything they did to you. But I, I feel like that's not the case. <clears throat> I mean, someone is under an illusion, though, and they are confused. They don't know what's holding you back. Maybe because you know they're psychotic. Um, pay attention to your dreams. That came out sideways. So you could be getting downloads, messages in your dreams. Someone's being spiteful. Someone was a dark witch or warlock. And someone's going to tell you some important information about why someone changed up on you. So while you were with somebody and, you know, you thought things were going great. And then all of a sudden things turned really bad. Um, this other person could be the other feminine that they were dealing with. They could want to come tell you some secrets, tell you what's going on, why, what, whatever. Whether you care to hear it or not, someone wants to tell you something because it makes them feel better even if you don't give a shit anymore. Maybe they think it's going to hurt you or this other person, like for you to know the truth, but you could already know the truth and you just don't care because you've already moved on. That's why you may be choosing to move on single. Someone wants to jump in with both feet with something here. Could be jump in with you. Jump in with both feet regarding you because someone's fit to be tied. So someone is fit to be tied because someone does want to jump in with both feet with you. And it could be someone who wants to go through an ascension or did go through an ascension. I, J, K, and L could be significant. someone thinks that something is all fun and games like someone is playing with this person they're in their ear telling them you shouldn't go towards this person you shouldn't do this um you know you grew up this way you shouldn't do that you'll go to hell if you end up with this person and this person is just fit to be tied like they're pissed off they can't stop thinking about a divine femme um, or masculine and they're tired of sitting around and waiting m n o or p to be significant <clears throat> Something is as dead as a doornail or something or someone is going to be as dead as a doornail. Somebody was impatient when they did something. Two peas in a pod. So, you know, there's a couple here. <clears throat> partnered up, did something impatiently, did something quickly, and they thought it was going to pay off for them.
Someone plays for the other team. This could be someone who's bisexual or it could be someone who is your op. This person was sad. Someone was never your friend to begin with. This is, like I said, a fair weather friend. Someone was never on your side to begin with. That's because someone was all talk and no action. So that's why someone flew the coop. You could have left them and ghosted them because you knew that they were full of crap. You knew that they were not your happiness. Happy as a clam and Scorpio in the reverse. This person does not have the wisdom of the ages. This person was too good to be true. And they are connected to this group. Birds of a feather flock together. Someone's starting to see things your way though. See eye to eye because you're coming out of the woods. You're coming out of the cold here. Saturday could be significant. Someone's waiting for the other shoe to drop. This person is as slippery as an eel, though. They were playing the field. They cheated on you if they were with you. They involved that third-party situation. Who knew someone? Who knew someone? Who got a group of people together? Now someone wants to kiss and make up with you, but they're being slippery. So be careful about that. You know, you've had to learn to make the best out of a bad situation possibly since January regarding this group of people. A fine kettle of fish during Aquarius season or somebody could be in Aquarius. These people were not sharp as a tack. They were very ignorant. They're pissed off because you're not as dumb as they thought you were. You learned your lessons. These people were lazy. They didn't want to work. A Leo could be significant. A Gemini could be significant. They're not getting their happily ever after. They judged a book by its cover. Like I said, they thought that you were just dumb. A Virgo could be significant. So if someone judged a book by its cover, they thought you were ignorant, that you would be easily manipulated. They found out the hard way that that's not the case. Because something is leveling up for you. Take it to the next level. Because someone was trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Or you know someone is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So if you don't have a choice and it's not two different people coming towards you, it could be the same person from the past that's coming back to manipulate you. So be careful. Person, place, or thing, E could be significant. H. I just heard Ethan. O. Okay. Something is a hoax or someone's a hokey. I don't know what a hokey, H-O-K-E-Y. I don't have a Y yet, but I, I've, I feel like I've heard of a hokey before, but I know hokey pokey. You, someone wants you to do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around and I feel like someone's going to do the hokey pokey and flip them the bird, but that's, that's up to you. B. <laughs> someone's also broke. G. Bugs could be significant. Someone could be an, is an anthropologist. Someone could like bugs or study bugs. Z. They could have a fascination with bugs. M. Hokum. Hokum, Texas? Is that a thing? Hokum? I don't. I heard Hokum, Texas. O. I'll do two more. K and C. So I have H O K K C E M B U G S and O. I hope this helps. Have a good day.